You've only gone and done it. You've done it. You've won the Europa Conference League and sealed a place in next season's Europa League in the process. Just how are you feeling? Can you put it into words? 03717 2 double three double four. Is this the biggest moment in your life as a West Ham fan, in your history, depending on how old you are? I'm, well, I'm really pleased for West Ham. I'm really pleased oh, they've look won at it. You, look at you, playing to the gallery. Look no, at you. I am, I'm oh, pleased. playing to the gallery. I'm, I mean, the, you, you don't tell me you never enjoyed all them celebrations. No, no, no. Uh, David Moyes, Do you know, Declan Joe, Rice. I didn't want them to win it. I've said it. I'm, I'm pretty open. But I'm pre now it's done. Now, I know, you and I know what it's like to get to the highest level of football, to win a tournament and trophy of that size. Well done. And I'm prepared to congratulate them. And I'm pleased for Declan. I'm pleased for all the West Ham boys in the office. I'm pleased for them. I just didn't want them winning it. But at the same time, you can still be gracious and say, do you know what? Congratulations. Well done. You've done it. You've you've achieved it. Well done. I, think I didn't want them winning to it. win the game, didn't they? Yeah, they sh struggled first half. You, do you know what? Do you know what? In, in finals like this, Dino, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, know, you can pontificate about who was the better side. I thought Fiorentina were, actually. First half, they, I thought, I they thought, were on top. But... It ain't about that. It's about picking up the trophy. No, there's not one West Ham fan out there that cares whether they were second best, third best, fourth best or fifth best. They've got the trophy. And, and you get the break of the ball on the day and some good finishing. So you get a penalty. What a pass through to, to Bowen from uh, Pakatar. Yes, Pakatar has just laid that and then Bowen's in there. He's got to good hold finish. you. He, he would have known, Dean. Well, listen, you, I, you tell me. Last minute, when you're in on goal in those situations... What, yeah. what, you you know how big it is, right? If, if you, you, I, I've never been there. Yeah. <laughs> if, all I do is ever chase players like you. Well, if you uh, if you're in in form, you know you, everything's crystal clear. Goalkeepers laid down. You can see Bowen when you when you see behind, behind the goal. He picks his head up. Yeah. He looks at the far corner. Yeah. He puts it across the, the target. Keeper. Hit the target. It's hit the keeper's shin, yeah. but gone over him. If you if it's not your day, it comes out. Yeah. But he's got in there. It's a great run, timed perfectly, great pass. I must say, their goal was brilliant as well. Oh, listen, their the goal was, mag was, was magnificent. And you felt, once Ben Rema scored the penalty, you felt the West Ham were going to go and, and hold it. But that, that was not the way. They fought and they... Look, congratulations to West Ham. This is your show tonight. You are you have won a European trophy for the first time in a generation. Please for, please for David Moyes. Please, please for Kevin Nolan. And please for everyone con uh, connected to West Ham. I didn't want you to win it. But you know what? Well done. And I Le think that's... Hey, Lee Clayton. Massive West Ham fan. Lee Clayton well as done, well. Lee. Paul Ross. Paul Ross, Sam, massive. Sam, Sam in the... In the, in the, the moose. The moose. Everyone. <sighs> oh, three, seven, one, seven, double two, double three, double one. Let's just go to the lines. Let's just get West Ham fans. They, they, they don't want to hear us. Let's speak to James. James, you're the first uh, caller of the night when you've won your first European trophy in around about a 1,000 years. James, good evening. Hi, James. Hello, Jason. Hello, Dean. How are you? <laughs> James. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, James? <laughs> Jason, I don't know if you remember, but I phoned a couple of weeks ago in the second leg when I said, if West Ham win it, we've had a better season than, other than the top four. Yeah. I think now you should agree with me. Well, no, I won't agree with that, but you've got a trophy. And, and I'm not sure a better season. You've had a better season than Brighton, but you've got a trophy. And that, that, that debate yeah. can rage on. Look, you've won a trophy. That is the most important thing. The season is about what, what can you do in terms of the league? What can you do in terms of silverware? You've ticked one of those boxes with a big black marker pen. We in twenty years time, no one remember whether we finished in it fifteenth, but they remember that we won it, yeah. and that's all that matters. As a West Ham fan, I'm thirty years of age. I've gone through so much heartache, even at thirty years of age. To see that tonight is just it's just unbelievable. It really is. Like, yeah, we might not have been the better team, but the way Moyes put his team out, put them on the counter, he put the tactic execution perfect. James, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask a lot of West Ham fans. Do you want to apologise to David Moyes? No, I was no? Moyes in. You're you Moyes in, okay. Let's tick. Let's you find out how many... Well. Right, okay, let's... Why would, why would we get rid of our manager, <laughs> right. who's been our best manager in right. over 40, 50 years? Right, James, James, yeah. here's what happened about six, seven, eight weeks ago. West Ham yeah. fans were thrown at their droves, sacked David Moyes, right? It happened, right? I was here. You, were, you, you, did, you, you didn't phone up and say you want him out. No, I, I, no, I phoned up, the first time I phoned up was two weeks ago. Right, okay, I'll keep a record, see if we can find one. 
see if we find one that wanted David Moyes out. If you were one of those that want to phone up, phone up now and apologise, live on I National Radio, the way I that you phoned up... There were, and look, do you know the worst thing is, Jason? Even after tonight, there will still be fans that want him out. Well, that's fine. That's fine. They're, they're, but at least they come up and, and, you know, front up and say, I wanted him out. I, you know, we, I got it wrong, but I still want it. That's fine. But listen, it's your, it's your note. What are you up to tonight, Jimbo? So um, we li- we live in Norwich, so we di- we're, there's not many West Ham fans around here. So gone to my gone to my dad's. So there's a few of us, a lot of drinks, and just like honestly, I can't I can't believe it. With with it like people go, oh, I said Mickey Mouse trophy. Yeah, it might be to them, but to us, this is this is unbelievable because we've now got Europa again next year. So yeah. we've got European football for three years in a row, yeah. and they're still saying. Like, look at the fans now. They're still in the stadium, know, Charlie, know, celebrating. It's, it's unbelievable. You know what, James, as well? I think David Moyes, what's, what's being said? Here we go! What's that message? All oh, right, they're singing. Here we go! Enjoy it. Yeah, they, they, they've gone. Let's go and speak to another James. This time it's Jamie, who's a West Ham fan. All right, Jamie? How you going, mate? You all right? I'm all, I'm all right, Hi, Jamie. Mate. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, tell How you, you what, feeling? Absolutely brilliant. You know what? It's been a great thing in a depressing season. It's been what? Sorry, a great season. It's, it's been a depressing Premier League season, yeah, but yeah. This, is, this was the bright out of the tunnel. This did, is the light did, out of the tunnel. Did you want? Did you want? Were you one of those that phoned up Talksport when him out? No, I've never phoned him out. No, of uh, course you didn't. No, 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 no. no, no, uh, no. Uh, oh, I, I was a bit uh, devious when he came back, but he's done a brilliant job. Okay, All Jamie, one hundred percent. We'll find one. Don't worry, we'll find one. One hundred percent. Right, one. this tournament has affected West Ham's league form. One hundred percent. Massively. So they've got to learn from it for next season because you're in the Euro- Europa League next season. So I think Moisey would. W- they've got to work a plan out because the Thursday, Saturday, Thurs- sorry, Thursday, Sunday, yeah. Thursday, Monday, you're always two games behind, and it affects you. Definitely affects the players. And- and you know what, Dean? I agree with you. But you know, uh, you know, in my local pub, everyone was going to me. Oh, uh, this, 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 this uh, Europa League conference, Mickey Mouse League, and all of that. But uh, we won it, and this is the biggest tournament we've won in years and years and years. And this, hopefully, this will give us a bit more setting to come. You know, years to come. Okay, for next season, David Moyes. There's a lot of speculation about his future, Jamie. Uh, I think- I think keep him, Jack. Keep you know him. What? I think keep him. Double tick. He does next season. Double tick. Uh, and, you know, see what happens after that because, you know, we've never won something like this before and we've got no. to carry on going. If we sack him, then we're going two steps back. We should go three steps forward instead of going two steps back. Jamie, congratulations. Enjoy it. I know what it's yeah. like when you win a trophy like this as a fan. Well done. Oh, mate. It's good you stuff. Know what I mean. Well Absolutely. done, matey. Come on, you iron. <laughs> oh, and there you go. There's Jamie, the West End fan. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.